Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and student artists, and welcome to the City of Savannah's Elementary School Art Competition Awards Ceremony. I'm Luchana Spraker, Director of the City of Savannah's Research Library and Municipal Archives. I've had the pleasure of working with the City's Department of Cultural Affairs, our Public Information Office, as well as the Community Committee of Diverse Cultural Organizations on a special contest to showcase the work of local student artists that celebrates the 50th anniversary of our National Historic Landmark District, which was designated in 1966. Today is our opportunity to say thank you to these students and show off all of their beautiful artwork while honoring our unique historic district during this special anniversary year. Before we get started with our program, I'd like to recognize members of our city council who have joined us for our program, Mayor Eddie Deloach and Alderman Bill Durrance. Um, I want to thank you for our support of our artists today. I'd also like to recognize our judges of the contest, if they're here, if they could wave or stand up. Um, Ellen Harris, Director of Historic Preservation and Urban Planning for the Chatham County Savannah Metropolitan Planning Commission. Um, Danielle Meunier, Preservation and Education Coordinator for Historic Savannah Foundation. Deborah Zumstein, Arts Programs Coordinator for the City's Department of Cultural Affairs. And Carol Lassell Miller, Events Planner for the City's Public Information Office. I'd like to thank them for their time and expertise in judging the many submissions we received for this contest. I'd like to now introduce Eileen Baker, Director of the City's Department of Cultural Affairs. Thank you, Lujana. First of all, I want to thank all of the young artists, the, their teachers, and your parents for allowing us to show you the work that many visitors and staff will see since Savannah is such a well-known destination. Um, the work submitted in this um, exhibit exemplifies how creative art encourages young people that may, um, may um, excuse me, uh, exemplifies how creating art encourages young people to pay close attention to the physical spaces that are around them. Each artwork depicting Savannah's public spaces, their monuments, buildings, and things that are iconic to Savannah is unique because of all the varied styles and techniques. Art stimulates perception of young minds, and this exhibit gives us a glimpse of your creative process and how you see our community. I encourage you all to keep looking and interpreting through your art. Thank you. Um, now I'd like to ask Mayor Deloach to come forward and make a few comments. Good afternoon to everyone especially the young artists that are here today. We started this, when I say we, the city of Savannah, the government, started this several years ago. One of the reasons we did this was we were looking to bring the citizens into the uh, operations of the city of Savannah. I imagine if I were to ask for a show of hands, how many have been to the city hall up until today, how many, how many of y'all have been here before? How many would have come if we had not had this today? <clears throat> Nobody would be here without this today. That's the importance of this here. It draws you into what, this is what you pay for. This is people that, this is what we represent you here in the city of Savannah. <clears throat> And I think it's really important that we participate as citizens and be a part of all this. So I'm, I'm excited to be here. This building was built in 1905. This is a landmark building. Now, everybody thinks it's where we come and go to work and we do our deal for y'all and we go home. But in reality, this is a historic building that took a tremendous amount of dollars in the time it was built to have it here. So we want you to enjoy this building. We want you to know that the artwork will set here. All these young artists that did such a super job in drawing these pictures. 
We're going to have your artwork up so all the visitors that come to the city of Savannah that drop into the city hall, and there's a lot of people that come to city hall, they're going to be able to see your work. This is a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. A lot of these older folks in here my age remembers when they used to get the magazine and they'd have a picture of a deer right there. And I think it was supposed to be Bambi. Mine never looked like Bambi. But they would give you an opportunity to draw that picture and send it in. And there was no doubt in my mind, I, have, I am still waiting for that correspondent back to me. <laughs> I have not seen it yet, but I am still hopeful that they will realize the artist that they missed a few years ago. But we are glad y'all are here. Thank y'all for coming, and we really wish well to each of the children that are participating here today, and thank you for the parents who care. It's a very important thing that our community realizes the importance of family and what family means to our community. So we look forward to giving out these awards. Thank y'all. Thank you, Mayor Deloach. Before we present the awards, I want to provide you a little background. Um, for several years now, the Department of Cultural Affairs um, has been helping to bring local artists into City Hall. We've been doing a rotating gallery on the first floor, and that has really um, brought a lot of life into this building and a lot of joy to the people who come to work here every day and the citizens and visitors that um, enter our building. Um, back in 2013 and 2014, we held two contests test for high school and college students um, because we thought maybe it was time to start bringing student artists into the building. And their themes were um, the historic City Hall building and historic parks and squares in Savannah. And their exhibits are on the third and fourth floor, and we hope you'll take an opportunity today to go and see their work. And it, it was lovely, and we've really enjoyed their artwork. And with the anniversary of the Landmark District this year, we thought maybe it was time to start bringing some of our younger artists into the building, some of our elementary age students. And so we issued a call for submissions from Chatham County elementary school students. Um, grades kindergarten through fifth grade were invited from both public and private schools to um, submit works that depicted the landmark historic district in some way. And the boundaries of those districts are Savannah River on the north, Gwinnett Street on the south, Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard on the west, and East Broad Street and Trustees Garden on the east. We received 298 submissions from 11 different schools. The works feature a variety of subjects, including buildings, streets, parks, squares, the riverfront, and architectural details. Um, they show a variety of media, including watercolor, pen and ink, pencil, acrylics, and photography. With 298 submissions and some very talented artists, our judges had some very tough decisions to make. On the projector screens here, you'll notice we have a slideshow that shows all 298 submissions. I'd like to take a moment to recognize any artists who might be here today who submitted works who were not, we were not able to include in our final three exhibits. If you're here, and I know there's at least one, please stand so we can recognize you because your work is important. And I know you might be embarrassed. And if we have anybody else, well, if you don't want to stand, we're going to clap for you anyway, because you did good work. OK. We, thank you for sharing your beautiful work for us, because it takes a lot to submit uh, into a contest. OK. We're now going to begin our presentation of the awards. And I'm going to ask Eileen Baker, Mayor Deloach, and Alderman Del Deloach, I mean, I'm sorry, Alderman Durrance, to help us, as well as Deborah Zumstein. As your name is called, I would like you to come into the circle through the gate right here. You're going to receive an award and a reproduction of your work. As you receive your award, please pause. You're going to have your picture taken, so you'll face over here. And then as you leave the circle, you're going to receive a small prize of art supplies and a special um, coloring book that features scenes of historic Savannah that Mrs. Miller prepared just special for us. So um, pick that up as you leave the circle, too. So if I can get um, Eileen, Mayor Deloach, and Alderman Durrance to come up. Oh, 
Okay. The following students from Hancock Day School for, were for selected for a special exhibit of brilliant watercolors of Savannah scenes. They will be featured at the Midtown Municipal Building on Paulson um, in July through December. And the winners of that exhibit, exhibit are Allie Lane Buckner, Buckler, fifth grade, Savannah Federal House. Allie not here? Okay. Thomas Federitz, third grade, SS Savannah Steamship Model. Claire Hayes, fifth grade, Factors Walk. <laughs> Warner Johnson, fifth grade, The Pirate's House. <laughs> Duncan Manning, third grade, SCAD Student Center. Margaret Maxwell, third grade, Whitfield Square Gazebo. <laughs> Faraby McCorkle, third grade, Savannah Cotton Exchange. Mary Blake Mims, third grade, Sunflower Gate. <laughs> Madeline Oldfield, third grade, The Griffin. <laughs> Ella Banks, EB, fifth grade, Savannah Smallest House. Lula Tolleson, third grade, St. John's Episcopal Church. <laughs> Reese Young, fifth grade, Savannah Federalist House. Okay, the following works were selected by City Hall employees to bring joy and color to our basement level. This was the only floor in City Hall that was devoid of artwork until now. And already we are receiving compliments on how these works are brightening everyone's work days. The winners of our City Hall employee favorites are Isabel Booth, Veritas Academy, fifth grade, Chippewa Square. Delaney Denton, The Habersham School, 5th grade, Savannah Squares, Anna Latique. <laughs> Allie Fields, The Habersham School, 5th grade, River Street Alley, and IPC. Cameron Hampton, The Habersham School, 4th grade, Guardian Angel. <laughs> Amelia Hickman, Jacob G. Smith, Elementary School, 3rd grade, Right Square Magic.
Caroline Duncan Lawrence, St. Andrews School, fifth gr first grade, Davenport House, through Caroline's eyes. Cecilia Manley, the Habersham School, fifth grade, Lucas Theater, Analytique. Your flash isn't going off. Demir Martin, the Habersham School, fifth grade, The Amazing Cathedral. James Muck, Savannah Christian Preparatory School, fourth grade, The Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. Christian Silva, Garden City Elementary School, fifth grade, Fountain at Forsyth Park. <laughs> Students are all from Savannah Country Day School, and City Hall employees also selected their watercolors to exhibit together on the basement level. Oliver Byrne, fourth grade, City Hall. Anna Conley, fifth grade, Mercer Williams House. Gracie Daters, fifth grade, Madison Square. Keely Daughtry, 5th grade, West Harris Street. Jack I'm sorry, Jack Flatman, 5th grade, Colonial Park Cemetery. That's so his mother is accepting on his behalf. That summer camp. Turn it around, Mayor. Elizabeth Hoff, fifth grade, Lafayette Square Fountain. <laughs> Alexandra Kaminsky, fifth grade, Lafayette Square. <laughs> Ella Lowry, fourth grade, Columbia Square. Lila McGlynn, fourth grade, Andrew Lowhouse. <laughs> Benjamin Sentman, fifth grade, Mikva Israel. <laughs> Trinity Stringer, fifth grade, The Waving Girl.
And the last in this group, Owen Wilson, fifth grade Flannery O'Connor House. And Owen is also away. Okay, I'm going to turn it back to Eileen for our last group. Finally, the winners of our elementary school competition were selected by the judge as the best for representing our National Historic Landmark District in celebration of its 50th anniversary. And they are, for first grade, Thomas Sotil, Veritas Academy, IPC by Tommy. Lillian Catherine Funk, Veritas Academy, Independent Presbyterian Church. For third grade, Liza Swan, Hancock Day School, McVeigh Israel Temple. For fourth grade, Patricia Inga, Garden City Elementary School, Dream River House. House. <laughs> For fifth grade, Mason Howington, Savannah Country Day School, City Hall. <laughs> Honorable mention. Amelia Maria Hickman, J Jacob G. Smith Elementary School, third grade, Savannah phot Photograph Fun. <laughs> Honorable mention, Simmons Key, the Habersham School, fourth grade, the Paper of Many Pictures. <laughs> Honorable mention. Ellie Neal, Savannah Country Day School, fifth grade, Madison. And best of show, Phoebe Lynch, Hancock Day School, third grade, Forsyth Fountain.
Congratulations, all. Lean Mayor Alderman Durrance, and thank you all artists. We love seeing all your art, and we look forward to seeing it every day as we come to work in City Hall in the Midtown Building, as well as sharing it with Savannah's visitors and citizens. City Hall will remain open until 5.30 this evening for you to view the elementary exhibits on the first floor in the basement level, as well as explore all the artwork throughout the building. On the right side of your program is a listing of our current art exhibits floor by floor, so take this opportunity to visit our exhibits. And don't forget to get some cookies and lemonade if there's any left in the rotunda. I want to again thank you all for participating in the contest and congratulate all our winners. And I want I want to ask all our winners before you leave the um, council chambers if you would um, come back up into this semicircle together as a group to have your picture taken with the mayor and Alderman Durrance because um, I think that would make a great group photo um, picture. So when we're done here, if you'll do that for me before you leave with your families. And with that, I just want to say thank you and I hope you all have a wonderful evening tonight. <laughs>